All righty. Um, okay, so we are working on the normal equation for the man in black, who we know as Wesley, or the Dread Pirate Roberts. Okay, so 1, 3, minus 2, minus 6. Second column, multiple of the first column. Second row, multiple of the first row. Um, it's a rank one matrix. We've studied its big picture, um, gone through all sorts of things, but let's look at it um, from the normal equation point of view, right? So when what happens when we can't solve this kind of problem when it isn't a full rank one? Okay, so a times x equals here's an example five five. So this is our b five five. So we go through it. Um, always the same approach, right? Row two is row two prime minus three over one, three over one divided by row one uh, times row one, and so it's really just taking three of the first row away from it. Second row, 0, 0, we have 5 minus 15, we get a minus 10. And this is inconceivable. It is 0 equals minus 10. No solution. There's no solution. All right, so we can give up, uh, but we will persist. And we use the normal equations. We have this formula, A transpose A, X star equals A transpose B. Um, this blob here is an N by N matrix, right? So these could in general be an N by N, N by M. Of course, it's a two by two, but it, it, it could in general be an n by n matrix. This will be an n by one vector, and this is an n by one vector. And we're solving this problem now. So just to jump over here, so here's the big picture. Here's B, it's 5, 5. We're trying to get to this. We can't. We will find out that we can get to 2, 6, and that's as close as we can get to B as possible, right? If we're, this is column space. So... Um, Wesley can only produce vectors along 1, 3. They have to be a multiple of 1, 3. Can't produce anything out, out here. It has to be here. And that point is the closest to B. Right? You can make one here, much further away, much further away. And at this point, we have P plus E equals B. Right? The error is pointing in the direction is, is from the left null space, unmakeable. So we just we do exactly the right um, Thing. We cut out the unmakeable stuff, and we're left with, with the closest vector we can get to B. We'll, we'll get those as we go along. So let's just compute these things, A transpose A, A transpose B, right? A transpose A, we set them up, multiply it out, you get a symmetric matrix. It has to be symmetric. Whatever you end up with here must be symmetric. If you take the transpose of this, you always get A transpose A back. Is a symmetric matrix. Um, and we get 20 minus 40 here. So now we can solve this. Same thing, augmented matrix. Uh, There's a minus 20 divided by 10, so we're going to put that in there. 0, 0, 0, across the bottom, right? We're adding two of the first row to the second row, essentially, so 0, 0, 0. So this is all good, 0 equals 0. We're happy with that. And we can solve this. We're going to divide through by 10, just to get it to the full form. 1 minus 2, 2. Pivot, free. Usual story. This is now we're, we're looking at the approximate solution, so we're going to have a star hanging around everywhere. So x star comma one minus two x star comma two equals two. This is the pivot variable, free variable. We always do this. Express the pivot in terms of the free. It's two plus two x star comma two. And um, okay, then we set it up. X star is x star comma one x star comma two. It would be x equals x one x two x three in general. Um, we replace the pivot in terms of the free. Take this equation, dump it in here, the free stay the same. They are free to do what they want. So we end up with a 2 and a 0. There's implicitly a 0 here. 2, 0. And uh, 2, 1. 2, 1. Right? So this is x star comma 2. This is the homogeneous part. This is the particular part. Right? A times x star, that gets us to the projected vector. This one gets crunched. And this is a solution. This is a solution to ax equals zero. Now these are not exactly x row and x null. Well, these are x null, but this is not exactly x row. This is not a not in row space, right? Row space is any multiple of one minus two. So here it is down here. So this is any multiple of one minus two across one, down minus two. There's its basis vector. So it's not really there, actually. Let's uh Let's get to that in a second. Let's just find the pro show that the pro it is indeed 2, 6. So um, the projected vector is A times X star. So we take A, we've got a 2, 0. 
So we're just going to, and, and I've put in everything else as well, right? So here's the homogeneous part. It just goes to zero because that's what this, this solves ax equals zero. So this gets crunched. And we end up with, right, two, it's really two times the first column, two, six, and zero of the second column. So there's our projected one. You could subtract off um, projected from B to get E and see that they're at right angles, right? So the dot product of these two is um, zero. So we can get to here and two zero was our solution plus any multiple of two one. So X, that's what this is saying. X star is any vector on this line, right? So here's two zero, that's our anchor. That's XP, two zero. And then we can add any multiple that comes from the null space. So this line, any vector on this line, so any of these vectors is zero. Any of these vectors get sent to two six. Right, the two zero part gets sent to two six and all of this other stuff gets sent to zero. Now, there is one of these points that's like one of these vectors is actually on the row in row space. So, and you can think about it a little bit, it's two fifths, one minus two, right? So it has to be some multiple of one minus two, multiple of one minus two, and two fifths, one minus two does the job. So we could do that, right? We could say it's that, that's, that's our better solution ultimately. We're not worried about this too much, um, but that's our better solution. It's in row space, everything else is in null space because we know things in row space have to go to column space. So that's this note here. You don't necessarily get that the particular solution is in row space. Um, and then this is just to say, how do we set up this? It's, you know, there's some sort of, obviously all the numbers work out well. Well, it's actually kind of, and this is not a bad thing to think about. Um, you can just make up a B out of a row, um, a column space basis vector, or however many you want, depending on the dimension of it, and, a, and vectors from left null space. So in this case, it's simple. We just have one three as our column space basis vector. So let's take two of that and minus one of um, our basis vector for left null space. So you add these things up, you get five five. Uh, and this is this, there's two six. Right? That's gonna be our two six. So that was a way to construct it. And you can think about, think about that. Going back the other way is a bit of a funny thing to do, but it's a, it helps with your thinking. All right, so there's a good rich, example for solving the normal equation.